somebody could get hurt using this anvil. Hey guys, welcome back to Mel Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to build a stand for this old Wilkin anvil. It weighs about 44 pounds, but we gotta make a safer stand for it. So we're gonna just start out with some rough measurements. We've got a quarter inch plate here we're gonna cut up with a grinding wheel. Uh, well, it's actually a cutoff wheel. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it because it took forever. Someday I'm gonna actually get a real grinder. Actually, I'm gonna get a Metabo. You guys know what I'm talking about, they rock. Okay, after cut the plate to length, we're gonna kinda reshape it. Now we need to figure out how long we're gonna cut the legs. The right height of an anvil is your arm straight down, your knuckles sitting on top of the anvil. And we're gonna measure the difference between the old stand and the old anvil and see what the distance is to cut the square steel tubing. the square tubing I actually cut off square and then I was going to put the angle on it later because I wasn't exactly sure what angle I wanted and I figured this was the best way to do it is just when I figured out the angle mark it and then cut it off with a cutoff wheeler. The Lincoln 210 MP welder is really a great welder, but I gotta be honest guys, I have not learned how to use it yet. Well, when you're dealing with an inverter, it's always making corrections for you. So I'm used to a transformer, which means I'm trying to, well, correct, and then it's trying to recorrect. Well, we keep fighting back and forth and I'm still losing the battle. So one of these days, I'm gonna actually take the time to learn how to use this welder properly. Here we're going to cut off a couple pieces of flat bar. These flat bar are going to fit on the end of the legs and that's going to give us a little more surface and spread out the energy so the tubing doesn't dig in to whatever surface we're sitting it on. Now the best way to weld these little pieces of metal into place is just put them on the floor and they're all going to just kind of self-align if you see what I mean if your floor is flat. That's the key. Your floor has to be flat. In this situation, it's flat enough. So let's check to see if the anvil's the right height now. Perfect. Now we're gonna use the old stand that makes it just the right height to grind off the bad welds and finish these up to make them look good with a flat disc. Now we don't want the anvil sliding around, so we're gonna make a couple steel brackets and weld them into place.
can see right there on the casting, the 44, what weight this anvil actually is. 44 pounds. It's time now to center up the anvil. It always takes longer than you think it should. Overwhelmed this. This is always the thing that you end up doing is you want to run a bead down the whole thing. I think I did three on each bar, right on the ends, and then one in the center. Good, tight fit. So I thought it'd be cool to have a little rack on here to hang your hammer and tongs. common mistake I make all the time is I should have prepped all this metal before I welded it together. Learn from my mistakes, guys. So now we're spraying it down with paint thinner. This is my favorite way to degrease something. Keep wiping it on until your towels are white as they started out with. We went in with just some simple spray paint because of small surfaces. So here we go, guys. Here's the stand. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Also, building something cool is your sort of thing. This channel is for you, so don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, go out in your shop and build something cool. Thanks.